I have always wanted to come to Southern Africa and see the big game in the wild. But I didn't want to do it just in a way that was like um, kind of too consumeristic. Like I wanted to be able to have an experience where, you know, maybe I was contributing something. The aim of this project is to monitor changes in animal populations over time to see how they are affected by human activities, which is critical information for the long-term sustainability of the Okavango Delta. This project is therefore helping to protect and understand one of the largest intact ecosystems remaining in Africa. The data collected is shared with the Botswana Department of Wildlife and National Parks, who use it to make management and policy decisions. We are not going into a period where there's going to be huge changes and those changes are going to impact the lives of people, it's going to impact wildlife populations and it's going to impact livestock and with climate change and the change in water availability is going to create a lot of competition for humans, for livestock and for wildlife to share the water resource. They're going to be in the order of 40% of the current rainfall. This is the only project in the area that does such needed and important research as well as runs volunteer project that lets passionate nature lovers from all over the world experience life in the bush, learn the basics of research and collecting data, and offer local team much needed physical and financial support. We make reports out of it and we send that to the Department of Wildlife and National Parks so they have full access to that data. First of all is to maintain the monitoring that we're doing, because the longer your data set, the more valuable it becomes in understanding ecological fluctuations and also if there's any disturbance factors coming into the system. And we're looking at giving more attention to the giraffes specifically, given that they considered endangered. It does give us the resources to do a lot of transects that we otherwise wouldn't be able to do. We managed to do 2,000 kilometers of transects in this concession. That is a good data set that we collected and people are getting a different experience of the bush and wildlife and they're contributing to conservation. This research is fully funded by the volunteer project and with their contribution, the project is able to provide salaries to staff and ecologists, vehicles and fuel. Volunteers help with the research directly. You start your day with beautifully brightly red sunrise, quick tea or coffee, some snacks and the team hops on the open safari car. I think my favourite experience so far is when we went to Kai and that was a beautiful area and I think seeing the lion, lions was good and next to that would be we literally were in the middle of the, you know the herd of elephants that was that was special. The team is responsible for covering 25 designated areas of land or transects, which are done daily on rotation. The team provides extra eyes for spotting animals, which helps to maximize accuracy for far more detailed and correct findings. Volunteers also input the data into the tablet so the guide can fully focus on driving those very challenging routes. What's making Northern Botswana special is we have high densities of herbivores and we have areas with low densities. So we have areas where lions and hyenas are dominant with a high density of prey available. But we also have areas where they are low density, which is good for your subordinate carnivores, cheetahs and wild dogs, so that they can use as refuge areas away from these carnivores that will dominate them. What is important is biodiversity, which includes the herbivores and the carnivores and the way that the different 
carnivores interact with the herbivores and the different ways that the herbivores interact with the vegetation. That's all part of biodiversity and that's what we need to conserve. I think it's a very different experience to just going on a normal photographic safari. It's certainly more in depth. You obviously get to live in the bush. I think you would learn more. It's a more authentic experience and a big advantage is that you haven't got half a dozen more vehicles around each sighting. You know, we literally have a place to ourselves, which I think is amazing. You know, and some of the sightings we've seen to ourselves is just incredible. I, I hope that lots of people come here so that they can keep running this project. Because, um, you know, my understanding is it's the only one here in the Okavango that's going out and tracking and monitoring and comparing data for the animals. You know, I think that's really important. And, you know, some of the stuff we've learned here is about how difficult it is with the humans that are living nearby and you know, tourism is so important and just anything that can help try and figure out a balance between that, I think would be, is great. And that's what I hope for this project.